Let's go! Good afternoon, I'm Robin Banks, and welcome to the British Heart Foundation Ferrari 458 Campionato, which means championship in Italian. In this competition, all the teams will be using identical machinery, so to be the champion team, they will have to create a good setup, and the drivers have to maintain a level of skill many strive to achieve. This event composes of seven rounds, with unlimited access for the teams, which makes this a very exciting event. Meanwhile, we are raising awareness for the British Heart Foundation once again. The charity was started in 1961 and is now 60 years old. It has provided and is still providing funding for research on many different problems with the heart, saving countless lives in the process and is a very formidable ally in the fight against heart disease. First up is round one of the Nürburgring GP circuit in Germany, built in 1984 and considered a mere shadow of its older brother Nord Schliefer but in its own right, a truly classic track and loved by our legendary Lewis Hamilton. Round two and off to America at the Laguna Seca circuit and its very scary corkscrew, a very fast and flowing circuit in a hilly environment which always creates a very exciting and challenging race. Round three takes place in Italy at the brutally fast Monza circuit. Its fast straights and start-stop chicanes and high-speed corners create a challenge some fail to conquer while others reign supreme. Round four and off to Austria and the Red Bull Ring, a wet round which utilizes a mountainous terrain, high-speed track with sharp descents and a start-stop ribbon that will push our driver's braking skills all the way. Round five and off to France and the fast and flowing Alsace. This is a half public road circuit driven around the perimeter of a small town in the region. The track is staged on a beautiful hill located along the Rhine River. In round six, we're off to Japan and the Kyoto driving park, Yamigawa. Kyoto is an ancient city in Japan that has been the center of politics and culture and this driving park is staged in the mountains on its outskirts. For the final round, off to Brazil and the Interlagos circuit, one of the group of tracks used in Formula One. This is a rare counterclockwise track. It has a mix of long high G corners as well as a tight infield section, creating a great environment for our final. So let's take a closer look at our teams. The aliens say we have zapped up and snatched the bodies from the 21st century team and formed a new alliance. Team alien is Carlos Punterino, Frank Handsome, Greg Rocket and crew chief Jack Tuff. We are thrilled to have assimilated Carlos Punterino, who now joins us. No doubt a top contender and a fine addition. Frank and Greg soon gave up their earthly beings when the famous probe came out of the draw and agreed to form the new team. If our competitors win, we will have the mothership use the orbital cannon and evaporate them. I mean, congratulate them. As the British Heart Foundation Championship has been such a hit, the former Skybet team has split into two. Sky Comedy arrives with Philadelphia pulling the strings and hopefully helping his brother Raphael Doubtfire protect T-Bone McKinley as he seems to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and is fed up with getting boned on a weekly basis. Also spawning out of Skybet is Sky Sports made up from the previous championship wildcard Gooders Goodwin Gooders that upset the apple cart in several races by being in the distance, not always the right way round. Teaming up with the set in his ways, Fabio Dottrelli, a possible contender in this crazy horse championship, and Sky Sports, a team to keep your eye on. Fabio, famous for his elaborate twirls and spins and keeping the local skip hire company in business. After narrowly missing out on the Meisterschaft team championship, Team Simitech are out again, trying their luck with Ferrari. The newly slimline team, after Scott Milano decided to take a sabbatical, are actually hoping to learn how to drive this time, rather than trusting dodgy Dave Unshaw with another backhand deal. Dave was last seen shortly after the final round of the Meisterschaft, clutching a suitcase stuffed full of four-pound notes. He jumped into his banged-up lap focus Porsche and sped off giving Team Simitic an internationally recognized salute out of the driver's window. The team wished Dave well in trying to spend those special notes and expect he will soon have to return and beg race direction for his job back and for the mercy from Team Simitic. After winning the Meisterschaft Championship, Team Toxic Skypants from Upson Arson are ready once again to do battle. 
With a spring in their step, they await the arrival of the first round with a positive attitude. Alex was quoted chuckling, I'm gonna rock them like a hurricane, as he headed into the canteen clutching a bottle of Turbo Lax. Whilst Bouquet, meanwhile, is not so secretly lining up his sister poop to infiltrate the opposing team's camper vans and indulge in some serious poop time. That will definitely slow them down, said Bouquet, and wipe the smiles off of their faces. And last but not least, Affinity Racing returns with a tweak in a driver lineup and optimism in hand as they can attend at least half of the season's race events. Fanati will be hopeful that a reverse grid event comes into play at some point in the calendar as not only does he expect to be starting most races from the back, he hopes the grid being the wrong way round will hide the fact that his car is also facing the wrong way on track. Unsure as to what bribery has got on behind closed doors, Blanksy has been persuaded to join the team. He's spent more time in the gym than his car, however, given that he's expected to carry the entire team throughout this championship. That's the teams and drivers, folks, and there is one more slot left on the grid for any wild cards wanting to try their luck. And now, a final word. We wish all the drivers and their teams the very best of luck. Remember, we are supporting a very worthy cause by hosting this championship. Let's take it seriously while having fun at the same time. Don't stress, if an accident happens, pick yourself up and dust yourself off and get going. Remember, all points collected are valuable, no matter how small. You are racing for the British Heart Foundation, your team and yourself. Don't give up, and like the Limp Biscuit says, keep rolling, 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 rolling. See you next week in round one. Many thanks for watching. Take care, folks. Let's go! Money, will you?